Welcome to the, uh, the Hamad International Airport in uh, Doha, Qatar. See the Qatar duty free there. Yep. Best airport in the Middle East. So they claim Skytrax. It's the Hamad International Airport in Doha. It's uh, three o'clock in the morning. I've got a, uh, a five hour layover here. So uh, I thought I'd make a video of the place. Yeah, welcome to Qatar, welcome to Doha, welcome to the airport, Hamad International Airport at uh, three o'clock in the morning, all right? So it's, uh, it's not too busy, which is nice. I have the airport practically to myself. Uh, my flight out is at uh, 5.50, so it's a good two hours to go. And uh, just to prove that we are in an airport, I'll show you an airplane. I'm going to stay here a minute ago, yep. Oh yeah, Qatar, Qatar Airways. A couple of airplanes there. Yeah, home base for Qatar Airways. Yeah, so this is their, uh, their airport here. Qatar Airways is uh, airport. I'm uh, flying from uh, Singapore through to Dubai. I uh, left Singapore at 8.30 local time. Uh, if I wanted to, I could be in Dubai by now. Uh, I could have flown with uh, Singapore Airlines or with uh, Emirates. I'd be uh, in the hotel relaxing right now. But I chose to fly with uh, Qatar Airways because uh, I want to get on the A350. Qatar Airways uh, the launch customer for the Airbus A350, so that's how I got here. Yeah, I want to try that. So, uh, And then the first flight in the morning to Dubai is at uh, 5.50 in the morning part of the thrill of traveling and I get to see this uh, best airport in the Middle East there's some pretty good airports in the Middle East there's uh, this one obviously there's Dubai uh, Abu Dhabi Kuwait Bahrain uh, few others. Tel Aviv's pretty good uh, I'm sure Saudi Arabia is good yeah some uh, stiff competition there Skytrax are a very reliable uh, source of uh, sort of world rankings for airports and airplanes and uh, they put this place number one, so well done. They're saying a, a quiet airport is a good airport, which means uh, for all the millions and millions of people that fly through here, they're not wasting time at the airport, they're on planes, which is good. I only saw my video in uh, Dubai airport, that was heaving with people. Uh, though Dubai is the world's busiest uh, international airport, and this one isn't, but still, you can see some planes out there. Yeah, so we're just going to get in the shops here. I'm flying out of gate A4. We walk. I walked there. Yeah, so the A350 that I flew here on. Yeah, Qatar was a launch customer. They're four in the fleet. It's a really nice plane. Yeah, it's really smooth. Even through the turbulence, flying over Bay of Bengal, like from Singapore to here, you fly over the Bay of Bengal. It's always rough, yeah. I think it's the winds that come off the Antarctica, and the plane just took it in its stride. Either it was a good day to fly, but uh, it was just smooth flying. See a train there? That's not open to the public. They're uh, testing it. Yeah, they're testing it. Yeah, the train's not open to the public. Yeah, the A350 is just so smooth. Um, I don't normally watch films on aeroplanes. I watched one and a half films today. Yeah, I don't normally watch films on aeroplanes. Yeah, I just put the world map on and say, let's, let's just get to the destination. I watched two films on that plane. So, so cozy and nice. Um, the seats are comfortable. When you put them back, the leg room is just so nice. The, seat, the you know, it's comfy, comfy chairs. The design of the seats, just the ambience in the plane. Uh, it's nice. It's better than a Dreamliner. I've been on pretty much every kind of airplane. You know, Boeing's uh, 737, 747, 757, 767, 777, and the Dreamliner. I've been on Airbus A320, 30, 40, 80, and 350. We're just uh, let's look at the planes out of here. There we go. Destination. 
Yeah, so it's just about quarter past three in the morning. So Dubai, that one's not Qatar, so I can't go on that one. Kathmandu, Trivandrum, I've got Emirates going to Dubai, Nairobi. So that one's mine. QR1, Qatar Airways 1028, DWC 550. That one's mine. Look at all these other flights. Look at this one's going. Moscow, Tokyo, Manchester, Budapest, Lagos, Frankfurt. Yeah, it's not as uh, multinational as Dubai. I think uh, UAE are a few years ahead. Yeah, mine's a 552 DWC. That's Dubai World City. That's not the proper Dubai airport. It's Al Maktoum. It's a new one they're building in Dubai. Uh, it's sort of halfway between Dubai and Abu Dhabi, which is convenient. It's a free internet place here. Apple Max. That's what I got at home. Absolutely brilliant computers. Much better than normal PCs. Much more powerful, much more user friendly. And they have it at the world's or the Middle East best airport. Apple Max. There we are. Good choice, sir. Now he's getting to the shops area. There's a little cafe over there. So Qatar is uh, basically alcohol free once you get inside. But you can get beers and stuff uh, in the airport. And the bars here you can get beers. Uh, this one sells beers. Yeah, we'll walk over there in a minute. Hata duty free. Dang it. Whiskey, anything you want. It's only once you go inside the country. So a bit open, to, a bit uh, mellow with foreigners like that. Yeah, that restaurant here. It's 3 o'clock in the morning, so there's nobody here. Bazaar, gift shop. So once you've finished uh, bragging to your mates, yeah, I was on a holiday in Qatar. It's time to go home, get some gifts, or not. Don't get it yourself if you want it. Yeah, so some shops around here. Let's walk, let's walk around all the shops. I remember the first time I came to Qatar, because Qatar Airways called themselves the world's five-star airline before the airport caught up. So you assumed that uh, if it's a five-star airline, the airport was pretty good. First time I came, it was like eight, nine years ago. The airline was okay, yeah. The airport was an absolute piece of junk. It wasn't anything like this. Um, and there was no such thing as customer service either. People turning up like, you know, five minutes late to check in. And the guy said, well, why didn't you come 10 minutes early kind of thing. Yeah. It's that kind of attitude. There's no such thing as customer service. Yeah, some of the shops here, Giorgio, Salvatore, Bulgari, Chanel, Hemis, Lancome. I'm in mean upstairs. I'm not going to either. Just uh, point the camera and walk. No, it's locked anyway, you can't. Yeah, so we've seen that shop, Marmalade. I did actually pass through here uh, last year when I went to that Banana Island Resort. That's also in Qatar. That was a late evening, that was quite busy, it's fairly full. Uh, it's much nicer when it's like this. And it's quiet. Yeah, perfume shop. Chanel. Givenchy, Dior. Let's look at some cars. So all airports have this, uh, all airports have this, uh, like, you buy lottery tickets. Yeah, Bulgari. You buy lottery tickets and, uh, if you win, you get one of these cars. So Aston Martin. It's not the one that featured on the film Spectre. It's a nice set of wheels there. So ticket price is, so one ticket costs 180 US dollars for a ticket. I'm not sure how many tickets they sell. But I'm sure they make a profit. Uh, yeah. Let's look at the car on the side. So customs and immigration's up there. 
So you clear that and you come down here to the transit area. So I've been stuck in the transit area for about three hours already. Another two hours to go. So look at this car. Sort of stuff you do, yeah, when you've got five hours to waste in airport. This one is a McLaren. So the ticket price for this is. Same, $180. Given the choice, I think I'd rather have the Aston Martin. That's just me. I think McLaren is slightly tackier than uh, Aston Martin. All right, let's uh, go out this way. Yeah, that's what Qatar looks like. They're hosting the Football World Cup uh, 2022, I think. Yeah, 2022 Football World Cup here. I think the airport will be twice the size by then. Uh, they're ordering loads and loads of planes. Little, uh, nice little animal shop there. Yeah, I think the airport will be much bigger then than it is now. 2022 is still seven years away, yeah? yeah so the departure gates. I'm in A4. I'll take you there last. Yeah, I was just doing like a figure eight around the shops. Show my flight again. 1028 550. It's that one. Yeah, so it's DWC, not DXB, you see. DXB is the original Dubai airport. DWC is at Dubai World City, which is. Uh, Dubai World City is between uh, Dubai and Abu Dhabi, which is more convenient. I'm trying to move in on the Abu Dhabi market. Smart. So this is a McLaren as well. This is a tag hire. Yeah, so I've never been to Dubai World City before. It's called Al Maktoum. Uh, I'll see what it's like. But it's, it's, it's a newish airport, so it's still uh, under construction. Um, I think they're going to have like seven runways once they're finished with it. And then the old airport will just go to waste. Just not use it. Michael Kors. Hey. Hey, hey. Swarovski. The new Mercedes S Class Coupe. Uh, the front lights have got Swar Swarovski crystals on them. There you go, I saw that in, the, in an advert on the magazine. It's one of our shops, Armani. You got a little food, food place down here. Sandwiches and uh, soft drinks. Got tuna sandwich there earlier. Yes, yeah, so one thing about Qatar is the food isn't very filling. I'll give you dinner. Emirates food is much more filling. Yeah, for you know for dinner, right? Plane left Singapore at 8:30. Uh, yeah, the food wasn't very filling. That's probably the only minus point. Probably that was pretty good. But the aeroplane, the, the actual plane, amazing. Plane plus the pilots, amazing. It was smooth. Yeah, uh, Airbus. Right, going back to what I said, you know, I've been on every kind of airplane. All the uh, Boeing ones are listed, all the Airbus ones are listed. And the 757, the uh, A350, uh, it's the best airplane in the world. There, so you can buy booze and stuff, duty free. Premium whiskey. Buy cigarettes. Yeah, take it. You can't take it into the country. But you can take it out of the country. I'll confiscate it. If that's all they do. They're not, they won't sort of chuck you in jail or anything, they'll just confiscate it. It's happened to me before. Like strict Muslim countries. I went to, went to Kuwait. Bottle of Baileys in my bag. Screamed at the airport. He said, What's in there? Bottle of Shivas. He said, Nah. He said, Show me. And uh, just confiscated it. Same in the Maldives. Bottle of Bacardi, so not confiscated. More shops, alright. Now we're getting down to the A. So all the A gates are down here. So it gets a bit quieter now. Past all the shops. Pretty cool when there's nobody else here. Play cricket here. Yeah. Yeah. 
shows lots of people from uh, subcontinent that work here. Oh, here's a cricket bat and a cricket ball and uh, hey boys, who wants to play? Yeah. So A4 is just up here. Best airport in the Middle East. Which would infer that they're not the best in the world. Can't remember who won that this year. We're in Hong Kong or Singapore. Munich gets good, good uh, Vancouver as well. There's a few people. What really annoys me about airports is when they put, uh, see the seats, they put the armrest between each one, yeah? So you can't sleep horizontally. A real pain. But what they do have, they have quiet rooms here. And I'll take you to the quiet room. Because the quiet room's right next to the gate A4. And there they've got a proper place you can sleep. These people obviously don't know about it, yeah. You have to go on the website for the airport. You know, you're going to be stuck in the airport for five hours. Uh, you go on the website and see what you can do. At the, you know, in the middle of the night. And say so they have quiet rooms. So you say, alright, fine. Get some sleep. At least tomorrow is... Uh, tomorrow remains a valuable day then. Rather than a sleeping day. I'll show you another plane. A couple of planes actually. So A4 is just up here. We'll just cut to the outside and uh, I'll show you a plane and then we'll cut the video at A4. So that's where my plane is. This might be my plane actually because we're leaving in about two hours. Well, it's got the Oryx at the back but it doesn't say Qatar. It's got the Oryx at the back, but it's near Kadasa, so maybe not. That looks like gate A4. That plane there. Seen there. More than one plane at an airport. Uh, it's arrivals up there. Yeah, so it's not quite a 24-hour airport like uh, Dubai is. Dubai, you've got planes coming and going all the time. Here, there's, as you can see, it's fairly quiet at night. It's good for the locals. Not that uh, their opinion matters in a place like this. It's like London Heathrow, you know, to build terminal th uh, runway number three. It's like, uh, it's probably easier to put a man on the moon than the discussions that go on about that. Whereas in some other places, it's uh, like Singapore, you know, you need the runway, you, you just build it, right? Screw the people. All right, so this is gate A4, this is my gate. Uh, that's the one, A4, Dubai World City, at 5.50. DXB is the normal Dubai, that's uh, Dubai World City, Al Maktoum it's called. I say it better if you have a sore throat, Al Maktoum. Alrighty, so that's a tour of uh, Hamad International Airport. It's a tour of Hamad International Airport at uh, 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I'll show you the quiet room and then we'll call it, call it a day. So mine is... That one. So we're nearly on the first screen. Let's look at the airlines. See Jet, Emirates, Cathay. Look at the airlines out of here. Qatar, Turkish, Cathay. Three Cathays in a row. That's where Code Shared. Yeah, it's all Code Shared with Qatar. Uh, this is the quiet room. Like, people can sort of sleep. So that's an Emirates plane there. No, it's not. No, it's the plane. Yeah, quiet room. Let's carry on. Kathmandu. I know I said I'd stop the video. I know I said I'd stop the video at uh, the quiet room. We'll just see what's down here. I haven't been down here before. W. H. Smith. We used to get magazines and books when I was at school. Pens and things like that. Yeah, Kathmandu looks a bit more active. Alright, I think this is where the place ends. And I just saw... Uh, yep, yeah, that's the end, okay? This is where the wall ends. So Qatar Airways A380 there. Just that one over there.
Airbus A380. I think the A350 is a much nicer plane to be a passenger in. Yeah, A380. Alrighty, thanks for watching. Bye. We'll see you in uh, Abu Dhabi. Let's fly to Dubai and then to Abu Dhabi. Okay, see you in Abu Dhabi. Bye.